Hello everyone. Welcome to the class. Today we will discuss about Animal Farm by George Orwell. Summary and analysis. Animal Farm is a simple story of animals rising up to take control of their own destiny. Set on a British farm named Manor Farm, it is actually George Orwell's satire on equality where the animals live free from their human master's tyranny. Inspired by Old Major, the animals on Mr. Jones's Manor Farm embrace animalism. Moreover, the stage revolution to achieve an idealistic state of justice and progress. To run the farm on their own, helping one another and living on a central doctrine of their own. However, a power-hungry pig, Napoleon, becomes a totalitarian dictator and leads the farm into an utmost oppression, thus gradually failing to achieve the actual aim of their revolution. One night, Old Major, the leader of the animals of Mr. Jones's manor farm, calls for a meeting. All the animals of the manor farm assembles in a barn to hear Old Major. He introduces the animals with his ideals and vision, animalism, a dream based on animal rebellion and self-rule, teaching the animals a song named Beasts of England, hoping to establish a sense of comradeship. Old Major dies soon after the meeting, but the animals inspired by his philosophy plot a rebellion against Mr. Jones their drunken and cruel master and the take over his farm they name the farm into another new name as animal farm they scribbles seven commandments a central doctrine based on old major's visions they begin to rule the farm by their own under the leadership of two young intelligent pigs namely snowball and napoleon Initially, the rebellion is a success. The animals complete their harvest successfully and they now are known as the best growing farm in the neighborhood. At the Battle of Cowshed, animals successfully defend their farm against the human for the first time. Snowball successfully gathers the animals, educates them and teaches them the seven commandments. He also plans for building a windmill to facilitate the animals with electric power. Napoleon, on the other hand, proves to be a power-hungry leader who passes his time lazily, eats up apples and milk secretly, and plots against Snowball. The two main characters of Animal Farm Snowball and Napoleon compete the leadership. Napoleon ends up in expelling Snowball using a combination of propaganda expertly delivered by Squiller and his mouthpiece and also with the help of his secret police, the dogs. And poorly educated the animals, slowly eroding Snowball's legacy, turning him from a real brave hero to an imaginary scapegoat villain. Napoleon imposes his will on the other animals, making them work harder and harder and feeding them less when he and his close circle of pigs live more extravagantly and increasingly detached from the community. He orders for construction of a windmill, which was actually Snowball's idea he once fiercely opposed. Napoleon begins to communicate with humans, those who are known as the sworn enemies for animals. He communicates with uh, Mr. Pilkington for supplies and also for, with Mr. Wimper, the solicitor. The animals defend their farm again from a human attack. The attack was from Frederick, one of the neighboring farm owner. But the windmill of Animal Farm has been destroyed in this process. Animals rebuild the windmill. Boxer 
plays a very important role in building the windmill. He eventually sacrifices himself in this process. Boxer, a noble idealist cart horse who was so responsible for much of the farm's success, is sent to slaughterhouse and the animals were lied to what actually happened to him. However, Benjamin, the cynical donkey, could understood that something is wrong with Boxer. Gradually, Napoleon and other pigs and animals close to him begin to violate the rules of seven commandments. By the end of the animal farm, time is passed and the original seven commandments animal lived by has been modified to a single maxim that is all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others pigs walk on two legs they wear clothes and they drink alcohol also they have started to live on mr jones's house and they are the only animals educated the novel ends with Pilkington sharing drinks with the pigs in Jones's house. Napoleon changes the name of the farm back to the manor farm. At the party, Napoleon plays cards with Pilkington and drinks. All the other animals observe it from outside where pigs and humans are gathered together by a toast of the exploitation of the other working creatures of the farm. The animals looking through the window can no longer tell human apart from the pigs. Animal Farm is rich with numerous interpretations. The whole story of Animal Farm mirrors the Russian Revolution of 1917 and the early years of Soviet Union. Set on a British farm, this satiric novel also projects a group of personified animal characters to expose the danger of totalitarian government. Animalism is really communism. Manor Farm is allegorical of Russia and the farmer Mr. Jones is the Russian Tsar. Old Major stands for either Karl Marx or for Vladimir Lenin. And the pig named Snowball represents the intellectual revolutionary Leon Trotsky. Napoleon stands for Stalin, while the dogs are his secret police. The setting of Animal Farm is actually a dystopia, which is an imagined world that is far worse than our own, as opposite to utopia. The most famous line from this book is, all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. This line is emblematic of the changes that George Orwell believed followed the 1917 communist revolution of Russia. Rather than eliminating the capitalist class system, it was intended to overthrow. The revolution merely replaced it with another hierarchy. Orwell also projects that those who are in power manipulate language and history to feed their own benefit. Only people changes and hierarchy changes. However, the condition of the mass people never changes. They remain the same as oppressed and manipulated. We also find many contemporary relevance to this novel. Of course, this novel's meaning is not rooted only on the Russian Revolution. It symbolizes and satirizes our contemporary society which also helps the reader to examine their own political leaders with seemingly noble and altruistic motives can betray the very ideals in which they ostensibly believe, as well as the ways in which certain members of a certain nation can elect themselves to positions of great power and abuse their fellow citizens all under the guise of assisting them. In fact, Animal Farm is a broader cautionary tale showing how a corrupt and selfish leader uses fears and ignorance to gain control of a population and lead a totalitarianism. And therefore, at the end, everything remains the same. The revolutionary leader turns into dictator again and sometimes 
proves himself even worse than the previous one. That's all for today. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment below. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want more such videos like this.